Hello YouTubers, welcome to our channel. Uh, Smith Shack's Custom Baits, Rick Smith Shack here. Uh, today we're go I'm going to be uh, opening up some molds. Package with some new molds. These, uh, yeah, we're I, I've been waiting forever for these molds to get made. So I'm not even going to wait. <laughs> these came from, uh, from Forcer Bait Molds. And he always sends these little, uh, these little notepad things that you drop down your notes and stuff in them. As it says, enforcer bait molds on the front. These molds, uh, there's a good chance he's never going to make these again. So I was lucky to get in on uh, on this run, which is most likely his last run. So that said, it's kind of sad, but at the same time, I'm just glad I got. Them. All right. Wow, he wrapped these up pretty good, didn't he? <laughs> these are uh, these are two-inch tube molds, and uh, <laughs> and I already have his three and a half inch tubes. I have uh, I have two of those, two four cavity molds. These are there'll be three of these in here, and they're all supposed to be four cavity molds also. So, there we go. Sort of. We're almost there. This is like Christmas time, trying to open stuff up at Christmas time. Alright, there's one. There's one free. There's two free. And we're about to get this last one out into the, out into the light. Here we go. Three each mold. Big legacy. And oh yeah, they're exactly the same as the other ones. Um, well, there it is. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and get the, the screws taken out and uh, and get these things ready to open up. And then we'll uh, then we'll get the camera open, right. See you in a minute. Okay, here we have our three molds, um, and I'm already starting the. The first plastic saw. Starting to heat that up. I'm just going to use remelt tonight, um, but I'm going to shoot three different colors. Uh, anyways, here's the mold. Single port injection. Okay, single injection port there. And then when we open the mold, you notice that these pins, some of them stuck on each side. So we just take a little screwdriver, pop that up to get the to get the seal to pop out. But these are the pins that make these molds worth it. Um, this here is, the, is it, it, it molds in the little legs of the tube um, as you shoot the mold. Um, so yeah, it looks like it has plenty of venting over here on the other side, okay? You see all these all these lines here like this, that's all the lines that are running down here. That's all the venting. And uh, with, with the size of these molds, that's probably plenty. Um, I expect it is. Uh, Kurt generally tests his molds out pretty well. So, um, but that's how they. That's how they. Uh, that's how they look inside. And we have three of them. Um, one, one thing I do. And I've already. I've already taken this brush, and and put worm oil on it. So in order to get these baits to come off, just to slide right off, I just wipe. I just wipe them down. Like this. All this. All the. All this. All the rods here. With, it, with that, the brush, get just a little bit of oil, worm oil on them, and then when we make the shot, it'll come apart way easy. Okay, they'll just slide right off. Okay, now one thing about these molds, <clears throat> yeah, when you're taking them apart, open them up. A lot of times you have to use a screwdriver just like this. You see they're, see they're sitting over here, just pop them loose a little bit. And after I clamp them, they'll be in there a little tighter than they are right now. So let's go ahead and finish getting the, getting these ready. Um, I'm super excited for these molds. Uh, I've been waiting a long time. 
At one time, he suggested that he was thinking about maybe making a, I think it was a six or even a, maybe even a seven inch tube. Heck yeah, but he's not going to do that, so he changed his mind on that, which, you know, there's a lot of stuff that he has to do. He, he runs a company by himself. Um, so he does it, so he, he does it all, so. All right, let's go ahead and pop this one open real quick. There we go. Get these lubed up. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and lube these up and finish heating up the, the first uh, color of Plastisol uh, off camera. All right? We'll, we'll, do, we'll finish this here in just a, uh, this shot here in just a minute. Okay, the Plastisol is nice and hot here going to go ahead and shoot uh, cherry bomb today and this color folks is a bleeder uh, if you order this color for me don't put it with the rest of your base because tomorrow morning they'll all be red okay so let's go ahead and get this shot slide these over there we go we're just about ready all right I'm gonna go ahead and pour this stuff into the injector this time because uh, there's just not much of it uh, I don't think that the molds are going to use that much Use that much plastisol, so that's why I didn't make didn't make any more. But let's go ahead and pour it in this time. Lifted that a little high there, didn't I? <laughs> thought I had the must have thought I had the six ounce one of the six ounce injectors in my hand. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and take this shot here. Now, it didn't take long at all to fill that up. Okay, hold a little pressure. Hold a little pressure. One more time. Hold just a little bit of pressure there. All right, that should be good. And they're not even drawing down. They're not. They're not using a lot of plastic. So. And get this. We used to. They used just about all of that. Um, all right, so let's give it a minute, and uh, in the meantime, we're gonna start heating up the heating up the next color. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and get these things opened up, and we'll see exactly what we've got here. Let's do this here. All right, and we should. Oh no, these actually came apart without having to use a screwdriver. And I just. I just pop those out with my fingers. Now the bigger tubes, oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. And the bigger tubes, you have to, uh, you almost always have to pop those. I'm gonna, hold on a second. We need to trim these. We need to trim the gates off. There we go. And now, we just lift like this, and they slide, they slide right off the, right off the rod and the spline, just like that. All right, let me go ahead and get the rest of these opened up, and we'll, I'm going to snip these off the gates this time before I pull, I don't want to pull them off, I want to, I'm going to snip them. Oops, that wasn't quite close enough. There we go. There we go. That's the first ones. All right. These are pretty sweet looking baits here. This is exactly what I was expecting. Another one. It's perfect. Okay. We'll get some. Uh, we'll get some more. They get all these pulled off. Get the uh, molds open. All them pull off the splines there, and uh, get the molds put back together and get ready for the next shot. And we'll be right back as soon as we're ready. All right, here we go. We're about ready to, to do this. Um, next shot will be my version of electric chicken. So I know real electric chicken is a little, um, the color's a little thicker, but 
I should say real electric chicken because this is my real electric chicken, all right? <laughs> all right, so um, we're about ready to to take this shot. I'll be going and pouring that into the into the mold, uh, into the injectors like I did the last time. All right, so let's go ahead and get this get this taken care of. I'm going to put this blending block on there. Get gloved up. All right, and with these, it doesn't really matter which side I make the the top. Um, yeah, that should be pretty obvious. <laughs> All right, Is that. New molds are like new tools. They're just so much fun. They got here, and I was like, yeah, I was going to wait. I was going to wait to open the package. And then I was like, yeah, there's no way that's going to happen. I'm not going to wait all day, or all, or all night, I mean, until tomorrow. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. So, so I went ahead and came out here to shoot the video. All right, there we go. We're ready. Just so I can see my molds. <laughs> This is the first shot. Hold. Okay, it's full. Hold it for a little bit of pressure. When you hold the pressure, I mean, you don't have to like lead into it. Just whatever pressure you use to push down um, to force the plastic all in. That's enough there. Um, that's enough. You just hold it there. It makes sure that you get, oh, that last one might not have filled all the way. There's not much left in there. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Give us a minute and we'll, uh, give me a minute. I should say, I keep saying us, like, like, like I have a mouse in my park or something. That is not the case. I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix that. <laughs> all right. See you in a minute. All right, let's do this. I think we're ready to open them. So, I'm gonna slide those guys out of the way. And let's go for the big reveal here. See what these things look like. This is our first laminate shot in these, in these molds. So, let's see how it worked out. Wow. I think, I think these just might be ridiculous. Let me snip these off real quick. And I'll pull the, pull those rods out. Well, generally speaking, if the sprue laminated really well, just like that, that generally means your bait's laminated really well too. So let's take a look here. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice clean laminate lines. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oops, let me bring this over a little bit. <laughs> I still do that from time to time. Look over the look over the phone instead of looking looking through the camera, seeing how it's look, looking. Yeah, look at that. All four all four baits in this mold just came out perfect. Except we had a couple short legs on that. We have a couple short legs on that one, but I don't think that's a big deal. In fact, we have a couple short legs on every one of these. All right. I thought we might be a little bit short on the plastic zone, but that's okay. These will still catch fish. They're not so bad that they won't catch fish, and they'll just go in my tackle box now anyways. Um, but if they hadn't been, if they hadn't, if that, if the injectors had been more full, um, I'm pretty darn sure we would be okay with, with these, with these uh, baits not being short. I'm pretty sure they would have filled out just fine. We'll check, uh, I'll check the other ones here in just a minute. I'll get them all opened up, and uh, and at the end we'll show all the all of the baits. Um, and uh, I've already got the already got the next color heating up, so I need to get cracking here. All right. All right. This next shot here is going to be candy corn 
And I may or may not have enough of this plastisol um, to shoot all three molds, as small as they are. I still might not have enough, but we'll see here in a little bit, all right? All right, well, I was an idiot, and uh, I shot the molds with the camera off. I thought I'd, I, I thought I'd tap the button, and, and the camera was rolling, and it wasn't. But that's okay. The baits are here. They're ready. Um, I've got everything put away up there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the camera moved. <laughs> all right? Um, and uh, I will see what the baits look like, all right? Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and take the first mold. It popped open. There we go. Oh, wow. Here we go. Let's go ahead and snip these off. It looks like this one's filled. And look at the, the sprue. It laminated real well. So I think we can expect our expect the baits to look that well too. All right, let's go ahead and take these. Look, all the legs the legs are all the way down. Okay, we filled all the way. Now we got a nice nice line there. Okay. Oh crap! Look at that. I just I just broke three legs off. Well, <laughs> that bait. Live and learn, huh? Okay, so I need to be more careful with the legs. I should have known that from the other, from the other molds, because you can rip those legs off too. Well, probably not quite as easy. Yeah, this this color I call this candy corn. I've done a, I did a video on this. So this is a, this is the, this pull those legs off. That's the sort of thing you learn when you're first working with the molds. You learn all the little, all the little intricacies. How how each, how each bait type is is just a little bit different. Okay. There we go. Look at that. All the legs are there. See, and I held, all he did really this time was I held pressure for just a little bit longer. Um, not really more pressure, I guess, but we just uh, just a little bit more. All right. Let's. Uh, I'll get all these laid out here in just a second. All right, so there's our uh, there's our baits. Uh, this this cherry bomb was really really nice, um, and the other baits. Uh, one shot here didn't didn't laminate quite as well as the others, but um, I'm guessing that's my fault. Something I did. Um, same with the same with the short tails. That's my fault. Uh, we only had that in, in the in the one color, so um, I just needed to uh, <clears throat> I just need to hold a little more pressure on these. Uh, and they would have been just fine. So, so that's an error on my part. Um, th this here, the, the the ones that didn't laminate quite as well as the quite, quite as well as yeah, quite as well as the others. Sorry about that. I can talk really. Uh, no, really, I can. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, that's probably something I did too, because uh, uh, and I think the proof in that is, is the fact that that all of these laminated really well. So um, in the future. I'll have to I'll have to make sure that I check the uh, the temperatures on my laminates with with the temperature gun and not just guess with this mold. And that's kind of what I did with this shot here. I just guessed based on the viscosity how thin it felt. And usually it's close enough, but um, in some colors you have to uh, you have to actually check them manually. So uh, so yeah, I'm really uh, I'm really happy with these new molds. I'm excited to make more and put it, get this eventually get this this bait put up on the website. Um, I'm gonna have to do take pictures and whatnot, all that uh, baits and whatnot before we can get it put up there. But uh, but that'll happen in time. And uh, in the meantime, I'll have a whole lot of fun getting them ready. All right, so that's it for today. Um, absolutely fantastic molds, uh, enforcer molds, bait molds. They, I don't have any issues with any of the stuff that the guy makes. He, make, he, do, he does fantastic work. His customer service is fantastic. And uh, today you got to see a little bit of the process that goes into um, fine tuning your your techniques for every, every mold. Every mold's a little bit different. Just the way it is. Uh, 
or can be, I should say. Because some of them, some molds, they just shoot like a dream no matter what you do to them. And other molds are a little bit trickier. But um, I don't, I'm not going to say this one's a tricky one. This one just was my fault. There's, there's uh, even some of my best molds, there have been times when, when I, I got distracted. You know, somebody comes in the garage and, and, and they start talking to me. I don't hold pressure like I should or, or something stupid like that. And so the baits don't come out right in those sometimes either. But, but, um, but again, that's, those, those are errors on my, fault, on my part. Um, but that said, if you liked what you saw today, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe button, and that little bell. So you, so you get notifications when, when we get a new video up. Um, and share. Do like your mom's taught us. Share. Share with everybody you know. Uh, we have that subscriber video going, uh, contest still going. Um, this morning I saw 167 subscribers. I'm not sure what it is tonight. Uh, but I did remember the other lights today to turn them on. Yay. Okay. We're getting gonna get, gonna get the hang of that one too. <laughs> right. I should probably just make a list of stuff to uh, to do to check a checklist to to mark it all off as, as I do just to make sure as I go just to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, but that said, until next time, if you have any comments, suggestions, um, stuff you'd like to see, stuff you think I could do better, whatever, um, let us know down below. Let us know if you liked it, liked what you saw. Um, tight lines and calm waters.